Shuttle launch detected. Don't let the buffer army get near Earth. Sir! Earth. What? What is it? as many of them as I expected. That's because they were all called down to Mars. Axel, Rully, it's all yours. I'm leaving this to you. Yeah, it's a piece of cake, sis. Roger that. Halt the catapult! It's not accepting the commands from here, sir. Dimos. It's been five years since I've gazed upon it like this, but now it's of no concern. My target lies beyond this station. Anubis, Norman, that you would come to get in my way. Abu Simbel. Starting sequence checks out. Space compression completed. Systems are go. Abu Simbel, engage. How pathetic. Was I unconscious? How's Dollface? Dolores is fine. There wasn't any permanent damage to her. That's good to hear. Radium Levance. When he was trying to give us the death blow... He... he headed for Earth 30 minutes ago with a fleet of orbital frames. What did you just say? Are you telling me you let them go? I've already informed the Earth Army of their approach, and warned them of the planned ambush. You don't know what you're talking about! Their real goal isn't to take over the orbital elevator for God's sake! He's trying to drop the orbital elevator on Earth! Hmm? I, I can't believe he'd do that! Who told you that was his plan? He said so himself and was darn proud of it, too! Hold on just a minute! If the orbital elevator collapses, then the Earth will be destroyed! What?! 
You mean completely destroyed? Like nothing left at all? A mass that spans 47,000 kilometers is going to fall on us from space. Don't you know what'll happen? We've got to put out an intercept right away. It's just not possible, Lynx. And why not? We want to, James, but we can't. Huh? Listen, James. Right now, Earth Army and the Liberation Army are at war in all sectors. We can't put out a pursuit unit in these circumstances. And we don't know if we can use the Dymo Space Harbor or not. Mars still hasn't properly prepared its surface conditions for self-sufficiency. If Earth dies, then Mars will too. It's only a matter of time. At this rate, humanity has only to wait for extinction. Don't worry. The Earth Army should be able to stop them. But I guess not with Hator against them. <gasps> I've had it! Daddy! Stop! All of you, stop this! You! Are you Earthling or Martian? I'm human! I'm James Leakes, and I'm a human being! What is he doing out there? Watch your father. He's going to put a stop to this. Uh, huh? But how can he? It's all right. Be quiet and just watch. You'll see. <sighs> so which is it? Were you born on Earth or Mars? Why the hell should it matter? Did he just say it was James Lynx, the fugitive? Yeah, I think so. Rumor has it that guy has an amazing orbital frame. If that guy over there is James Lynx as he says he is, he should have been born on Earth, right? You should help the Earth Army! No! The Earth Army pursued you! Fight against the Earthlings with us! You would understand our history of persecution! Let's drive the Earth Army out of Mars! Right! Mars has been under Earth's tyranny for far too long! Now it stops! They're the ones who started all of this! You're the ones who have to be defeated! For Khan's sake! Is that the only thing you people really care about anymore? The people of Mars are our enemy! What about you? I guess you were born on Earth, huh? Huh? I'm from America. And you? Uh, well, Japan. Japan and America, is that right? How the hell did you boys meet? They're different places! They're two totally different places, in fact, aren't they now? Ugh. And you? I'll bet you were born in Chimeria, huh, son? And I'll bet you have a buddy around here from Solis, don't you? Well, I guess you ought to put a hole in his head, cause he's not from your little town, is he? Say, is there some kind of way you can broadcast this live all over Mars? Well, how about it? Uh, yes, I think I can manage something. Great! Then let's get this show on the road. Take a look and compare your allies to the people you're fighting. What are the differences? There aren't any real differences between any of you, are there? I've seen Mars and Earth, but I don't know what you're seeing. They're just the same. They both have their good apples as well as their rotten. What's this? Who is this guy? Hey, Rachel. Mama. It's all right. So, what do you think? Did I go too far again? Idiot. I want you to meet my wife. She was born, bred, and raised on Mars. Then she met me, an Earther. <gasps> oh, James. <laughs> <laughs> then we got married and had babies. Leah, Noel, come here. Coming, Dad. I just love these guys. There's no reason why we shouldn't all be able to get along like a big family. You got your ears on out there? Right now, all of us humans are on the brink of disaster. A man named Radium Levant is trying to smash the Earth. If the Earth suffers, well, then Mars will suffer just as much. Our relationship is symbiotic. We need each other's strength if we're gonna survive for the long haul. And you Mars people need to know that. But you see, the new orbital frame is unbelievably powerful. It would be impossible for us to stop it. That's no way to think. There still might be a chance for us. Huh? Dolores was constructed from the same fuselage as Hathor. She might be able to stop him. But Mama, Dolores lost once already. Yes, she lost and had the control program taken. 
But that may be a blessing since the burden on her computer is no longer a factor. Well, I hadn't thought of that. This time, Dolores can win. You may have to push your limits, but it's possible. <sighs> you hear that? There's still hope to save Earth! We don't have time for this stupid squabble! Now is the time to band together and fight the real enemy! Hey, look here! I'm a shuttle pilot, and I'd be honored to take you to Dimos. Thank you, soldier. I used to do repairs on the Ilumbek catapult. I'll lend a hand with repairs. If you need a tune-up, I'm handy to have around on a spaceship. Yeah. Is there something that I can do? I hope any way I can. Me too! Yeah, come on, let's help this guy. Then on to victory! Yeah! It makes you want to cry, doesn't it? It's so refreshing to see a glimpse of real humanity. Yeah, quit fooling around and let's wrap this thing up. Okay. <laughs> right then, this has been Cindy Fiorentino reporting to you live on location. <laughs> It is believed that the large-scale craft carrying radium Levons will arrive at Earth in 17.85 days. In standard Earth time, that's 9.29 at 20 hundred hours. According to the reply from Earth Army Headquarters, preparations for an ambush attack will take 18 days. So the timing's pretty tight, eh? Even if they were able to lay it all out perfectly, Earth Army can't stop Hator. All Raptors are still in safety disarm mode. We understand it will take quite a while to release them, even if we figure out a way. That leaves us virtually defenseless, gentlemen. We have Dollface on our side, and that's plenty. Then that's what we rely on. We're counting on you, James. I got it. Just leave it to me. In about ten more hours, Dimos's catapult will be in operating condition. There's a big problem, and you should know about it, Mr. Lynx. Problem? We don't have a ship for transport between planets. Radium Levons. He destroyed all the spaceships and cruisers on Dimos when he left it. Oh, I can't believe it! Then it doesn't matter if the catapult's repaired or not! This is it! This is the end! Huh. Ender. Yeah. Hey, isn't that the Rose Landmark? I think you found it. The ship Ender has been sighted. We'll commence towing to Dimos. By attaching the boosters, you should be able to reach a speed 10% faster than Radium's craft. Your arrival at Earth would be 9.28 hours. You think the Ender will really hold together with all these highfalutin tuner-ups, bub? It'll be all right. If it breaks, I'm blaming it on you guys. <laughs> oh, Rachel. Is our doll face doing any better now? James. Hmm? Hey, what's this? Weren't you done with repairs quite a while ago? Dolores' AI is in sleep mode, and she won't activate no matter what command I try. Hmm? What's caused this, Bama? I certainly wish I knew. I can't believe this is happening now. Well, it looks like there's nothing left to do but get into her head and stir her awake, right? You have no idea what will happen to Dolores if you try to do something like that. It's quite possible that you might make the situation even worse. Well, it can't get much worse than it already is, can it? I don't know. It'll be all right, dear. It worked the last time this happened, don't you remember? <sighs> I was able to do it without any problems that time, right, Leon? Yeah, that's right. And it'll be all right this time, too. I guess it's our only choice. We're counting on you now, James. <laughs> Remember, it's possible that things have changed quite a bit from the last time you went in. Just be careful, okay, Dad? Sure thing. Let's get going. Go ahead, Theon. Roger that, Ma. <gasps> so, here we are in Dollface's memory, eh? This looks just like... this is from the time of the Daimos Affair, I think. Huh? Huh? What have we here? 
Ah. Ah. It's Dollface's gravesite. Huh? That you, Dollface? You there? It's me. Answer. That was... Hmm? Huh. Dolores Hayes. That's my name. Dollface! Is that you? I... I was already dead, wasn't I? Already what? I remember my name is Dolores Hayes. I remember everything that happened to me. Who I was and why I died. What? What are you saying? You're in orbital frame, Dolores. Isn't that what you've always said? I'm not just an orbital frame. My real name is Dolores Hayes. I was a human and died. People will suffer because I shouldn't be here. That's the most ridiculous I... Oh, Dolores Hayes. Radium's lover. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Soon now, Dolly. We'll be together forever. Was it then? When he took the system? Dolores, she was created using the wreckage of Idolo. So this is what's left of her memory from Idolo. I want to go now. My only desire is eternal peace. Hey! Wait just a minute there, doll! Don't go saying that now! If you leave, something terrible will happen to Earth! That's not the way I've raised you after all this time! What do you mean? That's right! You were created as Isis at first, but Rachel's hands made you Dolores! And then you came to me like a new child! So sweet and innocent! And we began our journey together! You remember that? Uh-huh. Yes, okay, so you had your start in Idolo, that's true. But that's all in the past now, right? Technically, you were reborn after that, you see? <gasps> in short, the ship Ender was like your cradle, and Rachel is just like your mother. And that makes me... well, uh, that makes me, uh, uh, that... gosh darn it. Uh, well, you're just like family! I'm family? I belong to you? Memories of the past have nothing to do with it. You're not Dolores Hayes, and you're not Isis either. You're just Dolores and part of my family. Is that true? I'm a part of your family? A member of Sir Uncle's family? That's right! Now if you understand that, you know you just can't sit here moping. Of course not! Well then, let's blow this joint! Right! Look! Mama! He did it. She's starting to repair herself. The vital signs are looking good. Uh, Daddy! Well, did it work or not? Yep. She, she's a lot of work. You know, it wrenches my heart in trusting everything to your family. But these are the circumstances. And in respect to the practical use of the orbital frame, you are our most promising lineup in this. Well, gee, thanks. The charges haven't completely been cleared, so I am going to need to accompany you. But if there's anything I can do to help, just say the word, all right? Right. Well, hail, hail, the gang's all here, isn't it? Cindy, why are you here? You don't think I'd miss a story on people about to save uh, the world, do you? Aren't we so lucky? There you are. How do you like it? I think it's wonderful. I think it's perfect. Thank you. Now I am truly Dolores. Yep. 
There's no way of mistaking you for anyone else now. What is it? We are parting ways now, aren't we? Well, I'm not too partial to Earth. Hey, if there's a chance, we'll see each other again. Right. Mr. Lynx, I know it's right before you take off, but I've got bad news. Apparently the bellwether of the coup d'etat, General Rutger, committed suicide. Huh? He must have lost hope when Radium Levans took over the plan. You're right. It's clear to me now more than ever that Levans' goal is to bring down the elevator. There are many commanders in the army who don't believe that. All our hopes lie with you now. Go win now. Let's get out of here.